Hello everyone, I'm Yoni Schlesinger and this is the tutorial for probably the best song ever, Bohemian Rhapsody. Before we start, we need to know two things. The song is on couple three because the, most of the parts, it's a B flat, the song. And B flat on couple three, it's G. So it will be more easier for us. And another thing, you need to put a, a peak on your knee, I put it here. If, if you sit down, of course, I put it here and it wait for his turn. So, um, let's start uh, with the beginning. I just want to say uh, that I like to simplify things. I know this is a very tricky song and many vocals you need to imitate um, with the notes here. And this is why most of the arrangements that you, you see a tutorial, uh, like Edgar Cruz, they started uh, because this is really the, the vocals that has, the free vocals that has in the start. But um, I prefer uh, to do it otherwise, even if I lose some uh, uh, one vocal, I, I get an energy back. And when you get the right energy of the song, uh, and keep it simple, you, you just hear the song in your ear, because you know this for 20 years, I don't know. You know the song already, and your ear completes the notes that missing but the ear it's harder to complete the vibe of the rhythm so this is the most uh, important things as i think so uh, i put uh, my points on this and uh, okay so let's see what what's going on in my arrangement so the first chord is going to be e minor seven we do with sixth string, third string, and second string is this the real life. Okay, and now A7 and it's bass and fourth, three, two. Bram, 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 bram. We, we add a third finger on the second fret, a third a finger on the third fret on the second string, go back to second fret, open a B string, and second fret on the third string. So I do a little uh, hammer on pull off there. You can do whatever you want, because uh, never mind, I told you in the previous tutorial, don't try to imitate everything, just go with how you feel it. Now, it's D7, but it's like C7 that goes two frets up, because this is the, the position we need. And now we get this E that we wouldn't have if we do this, okay? First string, second string again. I do a little uh, I, uh, articulation a little bit, I do. So if you want to do this, it's the same. And when you do this, you leave the chord and... Okay. No bass, four, four. No bass. And now we go to G chord in this position, not in this position, because we need this finger to go here in a minute. Okay, and uh, on the second string, not on the first, but on the second string, because we, we're gonna need the open E. So, G, regular G on the top, and then on the third uh, fret on the second string, and first uh, string is open. Okay, this is the position we need, and now we can do Second string, third fret on the second string, open string, second string. You can sometimes if it's an open chord, you can add just the other notes. It's okay. How you feel it? Never mind. Okay. It's like E minor seven, but 
just without this finger, or the fourth string is open. Because we like this uh, note. You get until the second string, this is da 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 da, okay? But you see, a lot of time I do, like, articulate a little bit. But you can also do, or whatever you like, just know the, your, your options. I do first, uh, second string and first string together with the bass. And now I go to G, but just two fingers, just the top two of the G, okay? Okay, so G, G until the second string. fourth string second fret and this finger on the second string first fret and it's like a seven chord but with the G we saw it on, on Sultan's tutorial if you saw this with this a uh, okay but now we're in another song so we just go to the seventh degree of the chord and we slide it Okay, we, we slide this one. It's not really slide because uh, I change fingers, but from this note to this, but with this finger. Okay, and this one will be will slide one step ahead to to F to further fret from this. Okay, and we when we go here, we already. We, Use this finger to go here, so now the bass is lack, and we put it with with uh, the thumb. Uh, so okay. the thumb, not the thumb. This is oh, sorry, my English is bad. Okay. And also press the third uh, string. So. I can go with this, so I prefer this one. Hmm. And, and third, the third string uh, open. This is on and right hand. The end is and C. Third string open. So. And then after this, we do a C chord, regular. To second string there, first string, and first string, third fret. Okay? Okay, let's see how it till now. Before it's we have the seven here. It's not that important, but you can also instead of do this, you can do with the third fret on the fourth string. I used to do this, and then I start to do this. Sometimes this, and I don't know, but I just give you an options. This is, um, let's just think about this on the 12th fret, because it's really hard to count with the cup or you don't feel it. So, like the 12th uh, the fret, and then the 13th fret, you do on the 3rd string and the 2nd string on the 13th fret, okay? And here, you... you you do like a bar on on the 11th 11 uh, fret okay on the first string and second string and here a bar on the 
second string and third string because this is a preparation for the next chord. You don't really need it now. Now you can do this, but the next one you're gonna use it, need it because I'm, I'm preparing it now and. And now it's the, you see, three and two and one, two, da, and then you leave just this finger on the 12th string, on the 12th fret on the uh, th third string. We have second, we have already bar here, so uh, 11 string on the 11th fret on the second string, and, third, and 12th uh, fret on the first string. So. Just A minor seven. A minor seven until the you touch the until the first uh, string. It's like fourth string, second fret, and second string, first fret. This is like A minor uh, nine, I think. Okay. Stairway chord, but uh, we don't need on this, the fourth uh, string, we just bow on three to one on the fifth string, and the little pinky go to the seventh string here on the first uh, string. Okay, and you lift it up and go to the bow itself. Through the set first string, okay, just this without a uh, pulling pulling off. Sorry. Again, the D seven it was in four. Just until the second uh, string, tick, tick, and first open, first string open. Back to this, back to this. Okay. And now, the, 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 the last note is the third uh, string, second fret. Like, I just. Slide it back from here. I, I leave the chord alone and just slide it back. Okay. Ah, okay. I do it otherwise. I do. And then instead of going down here, I do. I slide it back. To the first uh, fret on the second string. I'm sorry for having a mistake in the middle. I didn't prepare myself for this. I just enjoying with you the process. So sometimes I, I just correct myself. But uh, let's be happy with anything we got, right? Okay, so let's slide it back to first fret and complete this note that we needed before. Uh, a flat to G to, to F sharp and back to G. So, but I do it a little one, just for here, not all this chord. And then the second one is with all the chord. Little high, little low. And I go back, I, I stay on this shape, but I just go from this. So it's, it's slow, uh, it's a uh, it's, uh, Small, 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 big, big, small, small. Okay. This is C. C until the first uh, string goes. Okay. 
this is like G bass B because it's like G but we don't need this two fingers here fifth uh, string on second fret and first uh, fret on the second string okay. and then we have the pinky here to on the uh, third fret on the first string now just take it back one step both fingers to first first fret on this fifth string and second fret on the second string again there's another vocal doesn't really can find it I don't do it so I just teach you what I do I go to another vocal here on that uh, gonna be the main like, this is what I hear so this is what I do but you can if you, you hear another uh, vocals you can just look for them it's the most uh, it's the fun very fun just to to look for it you know Find it yourself. So, okay. it's like, and then four and three open, and this is the second fret. You say you can touch it uh, with the fourth string or not, never mind. I, I sometimes do just with two, three, and five. It's D with bass F sharp. See how it's go. Uh, uh, okay. It's you go to the D until the second uh, string. Zero on fourth string. Two fourth fret on the fourth string alone. spread but uh, to me to the second string the first fret to me, to, 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 and then zero on the fourth string back to the fourth fret on the fourth string and back to this second uh, string when the finger is already there so I do to with the third uh, string also it also on the third string open so and then we start the song actually this is the B flat I was talking at the start so and then we go to the G okay I just go to not not G like this just until the third string this is because this is what uh, we are hearing this one Like the 12th string, the regular, but because we're in couple three, we're doing the 15th fret. It's like a 12 here. Okay, I see by the dot here, I know where I am. So, and this is, and 
back to floor because this is like the bridge in between this uh, high notes um, so this is the a the seventh uh, on the seventh uh, fret you know this high note between the seven and the eighth fret on this on the first string one two three four five six seven eight seven eight between and again four so just have to go back to the bass don't forget the bass because I leave it alone and it's never mind because we still hear it but I have to go back to another round so so two, I leave it uh, as much as I can. I don't. I don't leave it now. I leave it just in the last minute. I let it flow. Okay. Mama, Mama is two two on the open string, second string open, with the third string. I do. Mama, two, two, two. Mama, three two again. It's like the, you know. It's going on and, and the melody is between. Mama, four, three, two. And then again, instead of going back to this, we don't have time because we have uh, something to do with the melody of the song. So, because Mama, just, instead of going back, you do, we go to this because just, me, just kill the man. Just kill the man. It's E minor, this score now. And we just add this, it's like the, the pinky on the third string on the second fret. So, kill, second string open. Kill, two, two, four, three, two. I don't, with the chord, with E minor. Just kill. Now you can do also, but I don't do it, I do something else. But you can do it also on the seventh, between seven and the eight on the second swing. Yeah. And, and the third string open between them. And like the first one we did on the 12th fret here. But uh, I do, I think I'm doing something else. I'm doing like with no uh, high notes. Uh, Okay, second fret on the first ring and open first ring. Kill the man for three, two, one, two, yeah. With the third string between them open. Yeah. Put up. Put again, we use this note in there with this finger. Put up. Put up. Second string open. And we go to A minor seven. This note, the first, the note is the second the string, first fret. We just add it on the second string for the uh, fret. quickly go away yeah. okay so I'm not pulling I'm not uh, getting on this I'm just I'm sliding it here from here because I need very quick to get to this position because if I go this it will be very hard to change fingers so I'm just I'll do it slow okay fret to second fret on the first thing and I continue to this bar on the, on the fifth fret on three two one and we add this on the seventh fret on the first string and go back to the bar okay so but 
actually we don't do this because we have in the song it's like pulled and gun against his and pulled and we need the pulled instead of this so it's supposed to be this but let's see what's going on really up there okay you just do this and instead of going back to the bow and you just slide it with the second <laughs> sorry with the second finger here put it again String open and again, now is dead. Found it here, the note with first finger, the second fret on the first string. Let's see how it ended this fret. This is D, so and D, the, the open uh, fourth string. This is the thing what the piano does there. So I don't know what, what it is, but it's uh, this finger on the fifth fret on the third string, this finger on the third fret on the second string, and this one on the fifth fret on the first string. you can hear the D like uh, echoing it's not I always leave it open because you need to hear it okay and again like we did before on the second string yeah. four three two and zero and yeah. you put the E9 E, e minor nine E minor with these two fingers not this uh, I, I do it like this I don't know why but you can also do this with this one but I do this with this is a more uh, strong, this is a stronger finger to do things. So I, if I can use it, I prefer on this end. Okay. On the second fret on the first uh, string and, and open. And again, you, this is also what the piano does, so we just repeat it. I don't even do the chord, I just do the, I don't touch the fifth or fourth string, so I don't need to do this, I just no, and the most easiest thing, okay? fret on this first string yeah. and now we need uh, the same uh, note but in another bass so now I've got a four but it's another bass so let's see how we're gonna do it I have to change fingers because I need to go one step down in the bass This is a six string four fret and this finger on the again the same note the third the fret on the first string so I can touch also the second string while doing it it's nice and I take this to the open first string with the same bass again and then after we do this we just go back go another step down to G and let's see what's going on ok 
Okay, I'm, I'm going with this finger because I like I need to do it all the way. second string first fret and zero on the second string and all the way this is third uh, string third fret so I go another bass down to the, the bass line is really exactly the chord we, we're gonna see a lot of chords that it's not really exactly what's going on in the song but this is what I do you can choose to do them or do something else but uh, this is where I stop and say okay this sounds good I feel it uh, it's good enough for me okay so we just it's very easy because it's the F and then we leave these two fingers and move up these two, two finger it's like we don't have to, we don't use this, but I, I keep them because something in the sound, I don't like to lift fingers because uh, you hear it, something stopped. Cause. Okay, and, and we also, this one, if, we, if you leave them on the F, you can put them up to the, the next chord, so it's, they're already here, it's more easier than here, and then attack, so. That's all. See the six, three to one, three, open, open one, open two. Uh, actually, everything is open. <laughs> Bass open and three to one to three. And the bridge is on the third string, the open. Like. This is C, but the full C. I like when I play chords with a pick, I also, I always do this uh, kind of C because, you know, if you do the regular C and you, you touch this, it's... So I always do, do this C. It's more complete. So again, we, we do this C. And with this, uh, this finger here on the sixth uh, <coughs> string, below where the pinky. Uh, and then you just build the C under it. Okay. And you go from down, from up to down, everything. Okay. Ah, and this is where you start to. S and I just tell you one thing about the, uh, the knocking. Um, don't knock like a, you in a, like a, I called it a extreme knock because they knock with everything and then everything is shut up. And I like to, if I do this, it's like nothing happened, it stopped. And we don't, we don't want continuation during the hit. So instead of doing all this, you can just with the thumb, you can do just here. You see? It's the same sound. Uh, leave the note like. And if you do this, everything is still remains open and just the thumb do the kick. So you hear everything is continuing. So try maybe try this. Okay. But I do all the things. Okay. 
it's the same uh, progression that we had before, just with uh, rhythm. Remember this one before? I won't repeat it because we saw this already. And in, uh, before we didn't have time to go back here because it was something else, but now we can go back. So, ah, did you mean sorry, sorry? It's a bow on three of this, and you add this pinky on the second, seven uh, fret on the first thing. You go back to the bar, and immediately you leave it alone because we need didn't mean didn't open the string first thing open didn't D minor first time we have it here now didn't okay just built a D minor on this didn't you you pull off the first uh, finger so we get to open first thing again didn't notes in here it's didn't mean to make you cry you're still on the D minor here yeah. on the second string for the fret this uh, note okay. and the bass didn't to make you cry if I'm okay so didn't mean to make this is the fourth fret on the fifth string you and then third fret on the fifth string fret and second uh, string first fret okay uh, This is an, a technique that you have to try to do it by yourself because it's another tutorial for itself. To knock and to pull a note while you're knocking. It's like a... See? To make, to make, make is also a knock. If three, three open, string three. Third string open, e, e, f, and then we build G on this, this kind of G again, not this, uh, but this G. Not the G. You pull this on the third fret on the second string. So everything on the G, it's like. string and G shiver okay. and then put this uh, further fret on this first string and you're still on the G and then you go to C this is a nice pull off it's regular C but before you go to the C this finger will be on the first string to do this and then you go back do first fret on the first string and open first string like and then I go back to the C because I'm, if I don't go back it will be C major seven I don't want C major seven that so
regular uh, and just continue a bit. Fair, it's on the sea with this, this finger I do. Yeah, carry, Jerry. Third uh, fret on the second swing. Yeah, and open first string. This is like a G with bass B. So we don't need the bass here. We just need this bass on the B. Uh, second fret on the fifth string. And third fret on the first string this time instead. Before we wait it here, but now we add it here. Okay. Okay. Carry on. This is this finger here on the second fret, sec uh, third fret on the second swing. Okay. And we still uh, let the bass. Uh, I need to hear it while I'm doing all this. So. Keep it open. Third fret on the second string. Open E string. K M. A minor, regular A minor that ends on the second string. Open for the string. And then we go to F minor. Because we need the other thing. We need the third string. Okay. Like the. Uh, not. Uh, okay, third string on the first fret, but it's already on the F minor. First and third uh, fret on the third string, but yeah, just pull, just do it with the pinky. Okay. It, okay, it's okay to touch also, also the fourth string while doing it. Okay. And I have to do C majors, but I have so it's if if uh, before we had the C and we need. This, to do it so now we just go up and do and don't go back to the C like go to the third string first fret and open a uh, first string like a really matters. but we have to go back immediately to, to to the regular C because we need this note dun, dun, dun. remember this from the start dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay so now First uh, fret zero, first string and three. Third uh, fret on the first string. So, and again, remember this from before. But now we have to continue. Do, 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 do. So how it goes? This is you now first two, and then you just this uh, three, uh, second and third string. We just go back one step. Uh, Okay, so it will be, and this is will be also the bridge. We don't we, it's always the hill, and this will be, and together it's. So this one I told I showed before, and now we, we add a bar on this two, and now we have to leave the bar alone because we need to go back one step. But you just keep this. You have this already here, so just take it back and put, use this finger for this note. Like, and again, two, one, one step ahead, and with two finger, and and this is now you can use this uh, pinky. Or or leave this. Uh, no, you can leave this uh, finger. It's okay. Three strings because it's more articulate. Five, four, three. 
Like before it was. And now. Yeah, you can do it or not, but uh, it's, I like this sound. It's like you're preparing for something big to happen. Receivers down my there is a sound like a taka I don't know what's doing it, but there is in the song. So let's do it here, like uh, let's play it a little bit. Like just on the A minor I do zero one zero one zero one on the second string. And she moves down my spine, but it's taking all the time. I don't tell you this because we had it before without the rhythm, but to do, just go back and add this, and it will be okay. And now I do, instead of, I like to do, it's D, just hammer on, I, I put it off the, f the first string open, and go back to, to the second fret and zero yeah? and go to the second string on the on the D Two notes are open. Three open, four open. Okay. And the second string, I do it with the kick. This is what I told you before. Okay. And this is a good bites. G and the ta ta. Second string open. Three, third string, two, zero, two, and second string open. And everything is on the G chord. And I, I don't do. I just leave this because I don't have time to do this because of the line, so sorry for this. I add it here. And this third fret on the second swing. And now we need the E minor. It's supposed to be but I do just articulate it a little bit, so it's. Pull off and uh, and hammer on, hammer on, pull off and pull off and and go back here to the third fret on the second string and first string open like. Instead of going this, I do. I just uh, take it to step up second and first string together with the same note, okay? We have this before. Gotta leave and It's the same, but uh, this, you sing it a little bit different. Like, let's see what's the difference. Sharp. Okay. Yeah. Do the bass and then the chord until they fill the string. I don't touch the second string. Fret, two, first fret, and 
open uh, first string. Let's see how it goes. Got a Second fret on the third string. We saw this before. before. Again, the C, the full C of this. This is the same as before. Now we have time to stay because ah, before it was. And now we have time. Okay, because we don't have the D then, we just go on the D minor. We have this note here, the first string, uh, first, uh, first uh, fret. It's the same as before. was a little bit maybe the same or I don't know but uh, I sound on G went down zero three felt fret on the second string uh, open first string first fret on the first string I sound on G shine never on the first string first string first fret on the first string first string and and this, when you go on this proof, it's on the C. It's like okay. And now we we have the solo. So what's going on here? Let's do the solo one. It's not uh, very easy, I have to tell you for, he for head, so don't take, uh, be angry at me afterwards, but let's see what's going on. So it's sometimes we should go, remember the C, okay, and then, first string open, and then second fret. On the second string, first the uh, fret on the second second string. Go to first fret on the second string. You just add C. To it, okay? This is a shape we've seen before. It's the second fret on the second on the fifth uh, string, and third fret on the first uh, string. Before it was on this finger because we needed to do this, but now it's on this finger. Okay. With a open a uh, bass fifth fret because it's a minor, and I'll go really to a minor. I I supposed to I supposed to go high, but. I prefer to just change it to the to the low because with the chords here, um, I I like to keep it uh, simple. So and now it's A minor and until the third string to open string second fret uh, open string the second string first uh, fret on the second string. Second string, don't touch the first one because it's ping. Only this 
il y en a des notes. Des basses. Fifth, uh, uh, fourth fret on the fifth string and fell and third fret on the fifth string. Okay. Also, I also always touch also the third string. It doesn't move. It's the same note. Open string here, the first. Uh, I leave the bass because I need this to go to the first string for this note. F one, three, five on the first string. but uh, if you practice, I'm sure you can do it. I, I do this and then I put the bass, so I have time to put the finger there. Okay. And then, on the clip, I'm doing taka 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 but it's supposed to be tan taka 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 There's a little bit delay, and I like to do it now this way, so I'm teaching you this way. Um, okay. Tan tan. It's use this kind of G again, not this, but this, because we need. Play here, okay? G go to one on the first string, the first hammer on and pull off back, hammer on to one and pull off to zero again. It's like, yeah, just find it. I don't have to tell you the notes now, but it's in the scale. strong <laughs> this and this because they are playing and go up and you need also to keep the rhythm I know it's not easy but it's gonna be harder now <laughs> see and then we're gonna do in the chords Just a scale from third string to the second string open one open three on the second string five open first string Uh, 
over it a little bit. So. Right, I'm gonna put it in the charger, I'm sorry. It's so long, I know, I know. I'm so sorry. Alright. Wait. I lift it up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> So it's A minor at the end. You can go after this to A minor. We had this one. Zero, one on the second string and second fret on the third string. Yeah, just like A minor, A minor nine. but I just touch the fifth and fourth string on the second fret and take it to the third fret with five and four, like. Okay. This is, we've seen it before this position, fifth string on the second, on the second fret and then second um, string on the third fret. And B flat until the you touch until the third string. And now we're gonna leave the this bar here, but the bass will be okay. We have to change the fingers because we need this bass now. You can do this, but I don't like it. I go to this position again. It, it doesn't touch this. Open A, A and do fourth fret on the sixth uh, string. And here I change the position to the first hand. Let's see what I'm doing next. I'm taking everything back, but I need again this note. It's, it doesn't move, so again, so this position I take one back, but I use this finger because I don't want this note because I take back. I, I still want this one, so it's uh, this bass on the third fret on the sixth string. Fourth string, second fret, and third string, third fret. So, yes. uh, it's supposed to take them, but I don't really know. I'm not really doing just do the vibe there, I'm not really doing notes there. Sharp. Now, starting the. Ah, I forgot to tell you, I told you before that we need a pick. So, when we. In this moment, we're all, already in the pick, but I used to. Uh, I forgot to tell you that you need to pick it before. But when you need to take it, let's see. Yeah. Here. Second, uh, then it's all, all with the peak on the D minor. So all this you with the peak of this uh, situation. Okay, so now we're on F sharp. 
Uh, though you, you can do it with your fingers, but I like there is something strong with the pick, so I just tell you what I'm doing and you, you decide what to do later with the pick. Mm -hmm. 